Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome to my studio and thank you very much for continuing to watch my series called Uncensored. What I'm doing here is I'm painting live for you a photo uh, from a photo of a, my mother and I when I was a baby. Um, this is new for me to be able to paint in front of you so as you continue watching you'll see all the little hurdles and bumps that I come into and then I just overcome them because I just keep trying. Keep trying is the key. It's the key for life and it's the key for painting as well. So I think what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be painting my, the little girl's dress. I've chosen this cute this pretty little pink color. I know you can't tell, but it's a pretty little pink color. And I'm going to put it on very loosely. I'm also going to be putting in some the um, satin glazing liquid because I would like for it to, in some places, to go on thin and be able to move it around. So I'm just going to begin. As I see, the paint is quite opaque. So I don't need very much at all because I want some of the, I want the shadows to show through. I can see now that this pink is cute, um, but it's kind of on the bland side. I'll probably, in fact, uh, let me just hop right over and get some magenta and see if I can add a little bit magenta to that. I got it. Let's see if this, I wonder if it be a little bit more colorful than what it is. Maybe that's going to be it. Oh yeah, this is this is going to be it. Much better than that pink I was using, just that pink. Can you see the difference? Yeah. This is the real fun part when you can start adding color. You know you're at the end or nearing the end. And that's, you know, that's always a good thing. Although you do develop a relationship with the art. Well, especially since it's personal. Okay, let's put some movement in her dress. I get a little bit of gesso out while it's wet. Um, I'll go be putting in some highlights.
is funny. We're painting her dress, right? And I'm painting the bottom of the dress. What I realized is that when I got, when I was painting my mother's shirt earlier in the last segment, I got so, so into it, I covered up my leg. So my knee is gone. <laughs> That's funny. I'll have to fix that in a minute. But isn't it, that's, I think this is Stitch. <laughs> I'll, I'll be sitting with that one for a little while. Look at my face getting red. I'm not kidding. I cannot believe that I actually painted over her leg. <laughs> but I did. So what we have to do now is go in there. At least you'll get to see how I did it the first time. Or even if I can do it the same way the second time. We're going to go in there and we're going to put in her kneecap. Um, that's how I started it the last time. Babies have a littler kneecap than we do. But we'll go ahead and put one in right about right here. She has a second leg showing up there, but I think it's good enough just to give to the viewer's eye one kneecap. I don't need to do two of them, or I'm not going to do two of them. So now I'm going to go in with some burnt sienna and make some shadows in there. It's a little bit darker as well. I sure hope I don't do this again, but can't say I can't promise you I won't. Someone asked me if I felt weird doing me and my mom. Actually, while I'm here doing it, to me it's, it's a piece of art, so I'm not getting emotionally involved that way. But when I think of the magnitude of what I'm doing, it does. It, it does. Uh, it does touch me. But while I'm actually doing the art, I'm doing the art. So I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling any attachment to it being my mom and I. Does that make sense? I hope it does. And we're going to put some white in here. Blending in with the other colors. Which is good. Which is fine. Looks like she's got dirty knees.
honestly. I think her knee looks a lot better now, so, than it did before. What I do have to go in there and do is put some shadows with the soft black that I used before in the front of her legs. I forgot her legs. She's done. Um, I mean, her leg is done. So I'm going to stop this video now and we'll catch you on the next one uh, for another 15 minutes of Uncensored. Thank you very much for following me. And as you can see, she's getting done. Thank you.